we met costume for the first time at uh, dark bombastic evening I think or maybe even before maybe no it was dark bombastic evening but it was it was not the, the outside one uh, I, th I think we met at the silver church for the first time but uh, I wasn't aware of his art at that point I got uh, into his stuff uh, when we played on a later edition of Dark Bombastic Evening, then in Alba Julia, and uh, there was an uh, exhibition of, of Kostin stuff, and I think uh, he was also the in house artist for, for the festival and doing all posters and stuff. And uh, I really loved his work and his, uh, his expression, and um, uh, we uh, got talking, I met him at, uh, at the exhibition uh, there at the fortress and we got talking and it turned out that we had a mutual admiration of each other's work so uh, later when we came uh, somewhere into the process of writing the tower we figured that for this album we needed an illustration and then it felt really natural to, to go for costing. Uh, and uh, he really got into the material really heavily and totally understood what we wanted to do. So uh, from the starting point where we were just discussing ideas and thematics and thoughts and stuff like that, everything's just been flowing. Uh, in a really good way. The tower is uh, is a kind of metaphorical picture uh, of the society that we create and become a part of. When you see it from the outside, you you will see that it is crooked and that is it, it, it is almost falling down. But as you draw nearer and become engulfed by it and, and go really into it, uh, you you will stop seeing the imperfections as they become part of you and you become trapped in it and the higher you go uh, the harder the fall I think the project we are doing now, uh, the Babylon Spiral, is a, is a continuation of what we started with the artwork for for the tower. So every everything we've been doing since then has just been fruits from the seed that we planted when when we started working, uh, and uh, uh, everything we've done since then has just been expanding a, a, upon this thing that that we were already doing. We had uh, Lost Among Liars, which uh, introduced new characters and also uh, expanded the, the imagery and, uh, and was a very important to, to define the road ahead, I think. Now we have, uh, have the Babylon Spiral show where we will we will take this stuff uh, out and, and bring it up on stage. It's all been going really fast. We, we spent four, was it three days? Four days uh, in, 
uh, in RAP, Art House, uh, a workplace for, uh, for performing arts here in Bergen. Uh, we, we had the workshop there uh, and we've been building um, a really nice stage decoration or Kostin and Gina have been building really nice stage decorations and I've, I've just been visiting and, uh, and looking and uh, I plan to say yeah, this has to be like this and this has to be like this but everything was just perfect when I came in so, and so it's all good and it looks really fantastic so I'm, I'm really stoked about bringing this thing to the stage it's gonna be a new dimension for, uh, for the band definitely We are working together already for a few years and I must say that it's a great thing to share uh, so many ideas with the artists you are collaborating with. Um, I really think this is turning the creative process into something extremely pleasant and uh, something which uh, can uh, offer you in the end some really interesting results. I remember the first discussions we had uh, over the uh, concept behind uh, the tower and uh, everything which was connected to that album and uh, I remember I was extremely excited about so, so many common uh, visions about society and about uh, how things work around us or actually how things are not working too well around us. I really love to see um, projects for bands evolving into something more and more complex, into something let's say higher uh, and I really think that uh, what I am doing now with uh, Vulture Industries is the best example at least in my case. After completing the, the project for the tower and uh, some other smaller ones, um, I was invited uh, by them to, to be a part of their new project, uh, which was called uh, Turning Golem. It was a combination of uh, theater, uh, heavy metal music and uh, happening on the stage. So this was actually my first uh, exhibition in Bergen. It was in a garage uh, two years ago, I think. And it was my, let's say, most radical uh, visual concept which I uh, ever presented uh, publicly. Um, because the arts were uh, also presented uh, in the club but also exposed randomly on the streets so we, it was really interesting to see um, different kind of uh, reactions from people who were not aware at all about what is going on <laughs> was really really interesting and uh, as you can see here uh, the messages were quite tough and I think the overall message of this project was uh, extremely straight into the face, I think. Working for uh, the Babylon Spiral show was since the beginning uh, for me something completely new. Uh, from, from the way of working to the complexity and to a huge number of uh, technical issues I was supposed to fix. Even I came from Bucharest with a lot of sketches and a lot of ideas uh, concerning uh, technical solutions. In the end, uh, of course, I realized that most of them were just uh, nonsense. So, uh, yeah, it was really... Uh, boundary pushing for me I guess from the start uh, we, we we thought about uh, 
a scene decoration which was not supposed to be for just one show so uh, of course this aspect changed a lot all the technical requirements and uh, this was the first really tough uh, point to, to be fixed after that uh, other new things for me were uh, the way of working because uh, I am not normally used for uh, my daily projects uh, this kind of uh, huge brushes not these uh, strange positions of working and painting so uh, so yeah was a bit tough for a guy who sits all day long drawing and uh, answering to emails <laughs> to be aware of some things might be really painful but uh, uh, that is not the purpose of this show uh, in the end I think is not a judgment is actually a description of our uh, human condition uh, at this moment the most complicated part of the project uh, were not uh, the walls and the entire structure, the entire main structure of the same decoration, but something uh, which is uh, like an extra. It was supposed to be a robot, but uh, in the end uh, looks more like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, some, some informational uh, delivery device and more something like that. This part uh, was extremely, extremely hard to, to build up using this uh, uh, cardboard and foam as a structure and uh, also extremely difficult to paint and uh, there were many moments when uh, it was impossible to fix things by myself so I really want to say a big thank you to Gina. Without her a big part of these elements would not exist today, actually. I think the main, main uh, difference uh, of, of this show as compared to a normal Vulture Industries show is that we will have all these fantastic stage designs uh, which will really enforce the atmosphere that is already there uh, and also we will actively use Kostin on stage uh, and have him as a, as a part of the show. Maybe if you want to dig more into what will, what will gonna happen, just uh, read carefully what is uh, written on the poster because we actually specify there the mainly characters and what we have in our minds concerning uh, some important uh, points in uh, this performance and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. This dark, undefined, kind of shapeless horror is really intriguing and, and nice. <laughs>